Hello everyone, welcome to the Big Guy Garage. If you're new here, please hit that like, share, and subscribe button. If you're returning to watch videos, please hit that share button. We really need your support, but this is what we do here. Classics, rat rods, hot rods, resto mods. So, and also you can jump onto the shop and pick up the clothes, the shirts that help support the channel. But thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. And here's your video. Well, now since my lathe is broken, I broke the chuck on it. I don't know if I said that before on here. We have to play Watcher Stack here to build the bushings I need, which were supposed to be made out of aluminum, which I even have. But I was turning it, snapped a jaw off. They're old jaws, they're very old. But now I'm gonna have to try to stack up some washers like this to simulate this bushing, poly bushing, to fit on to here. So I basically have it dead nuts on here, two of these big washers and two of these but the problem is these are actually not perfectly fit in there so what I'm going to try to do first is see if I have any bushing or er, bushings washers that fit tight in this hole then I will weld the two big ones together uh, some nice piece of crap going up the hill and then weld these two or whichever two I can find onto there to simulate the center portion so that way I can start building my friggin control arms to get my rear end back under my car all right remember me telling you how my lathe is broken here's what broke on the jaws out of the chuck you can see this one's actually got two teeth broke this one has one them two front ones were broke way before I got it that's the one I broke but I think I've come up with a way I can chuck it back in there and I've always known but I couldn't spin the big chunk of aluminum I have but the washer idea if I chuck it onto a bolt or if I bolt all the washers to that and then chuck it on with this really small I can still spin them washers or sorry turn them washers to where they'll fit inside the heim joints so that's what I'm going to attempt now. Okay, since I have no way to make the aluminum mock bushings now that my lathe's broke, I am going to make some mimic ones. And what I'm going to do is 9 16 bolt, two giant washers now that's going to mimic the thickness of this right here all right that bottom piece all right and what i'm going to do is i'm going to cut some spacers this is also a 9 16 i don't remember what that's from but i'm going to cut these all four of them and then i'll have a 9 16 washer that fits perfectly into the end link end link piece right here so these fit perfect into here no movement or nothing so washers raw or the uh whatever that is the spacers and then the washer to bring it out in here because you can't lay it flat because of the edge so you do that pushes the washer down into this to the inside some more which keeps it more you know straight make four of them then I can start cutting my uh, my metal I ain't got my metal out here yet it's still in the house but yeah that's the, what I'm working on so I'm gonna cut these so now you can see what I've made here please don't judge me on these welds. I just switched to 23 thou wire and it's a lot harder to use than 30. 
it takes a lot more amps and stuff to push that wire for some reason I don't know it's weird well it takes a lot more amps to get it to burn hot enough to go into this thickness so but here's my in link sits on there it has very minimal movement actually you know it ain't got very much at all so yeah but that's how you work around not having a lathe to machine like mock bushings that now is a mock bushing it's just I guess you would call it the uh, no lathe way of making them now I have three more of those to make and it's kind of a pain but I'm gonna hop on it. okay so as part of the stuff I had to get for my control arm builds I got a hold of fast metals and I got this big giant chunk of aluminum to make them bushings I just made out of steel because my lathe broke so I'm gonna have to use that in something else after I get a new chuck uh, I've got some DOM tubing and some square tubing and some quarter inch flat plate and this is what it's gonna take to make my homemade custom control arms uh, now the good thing about fast metals is two days is how long it took to get this here ordered it two days at my door that's how quick it was but this is everything I'm gonna need to make my control arms minus the uh, end links so what I gotta do is I gotta cut some round holes in here and weld up my end links in there one end then measure center to center and get my what is it it's uh it's three it's 22 and three quarters is actually how long they need to be the lowers now the uppers I don't know yet because the uppers are actually offset when you extend them so I'll have to cut them weld them to the end link like that you know after I cut it but weld it to the end link then I'll have to bolt it on under the car and then put the rear end at the right pinion angle and wherever it's offset to these are the plates I'm gonna make they're going to be hold on a second let me get a pin here I'm gonna pin my uh, soapstone I'll draw it out for you if you've ever seen pictures of them if you're looking at them but they're going to be squared off and the bushing will be in here but I'm going to also put a top on mine and also from the side view the bolt will be like down there so that's basically how I'll make all that bolted up to the control arm or not control them to the uh, rear end then I'll know how far off it is to weld it but it's not too bad these these are butter they're just straight out no difference the line on them is perfectly straight it won't push to either side so easy peasy Japanese but definitely fast metals if you want metal quick